So the Trans Penumbra Upgrade project is a multi-billion pound project to improve services between Manchester and York and the West Alliance role in that is between Manchester and Leeds. At the moment we're in Huddersfield, you can see by the station and the work, work site below uh, and we're looking to deliver upgrades including uh, additional tracks to make forward tracking, uh, upgrades to stations to improve accessibility and increasing platform length to increase uh, the opportunities for longer trains, more seats, better service for customers uh, and overhead lines to electrify the routes to improve the carbon footprint of the railway. We're building this railway for the, for the people in the north, by the people in the north, and we really want to give that legacy of, of uh, opportunities to the local people to, to really benefit from the work we're doing here. And one of the really interesting things about this project is it's building on infrastructure that was built 150 years ago, so it was a massive investment of energy, carbon intensive energy, uh, to deliver this infrastructure by the Victorians, uh, obviously developed over, over a number of years. And we don't want to waste that, we want to make sure that we take advantage of that embodied energy carbon investment and enhance it and build on it uh, rather than scrap it and start again. So what we've done is we've developed some community social value strategies that are aligned to each compound or each area along the route between Manchester and Leeds. The future of our, our industry is the next generation. Without us empowering and enthusing that generation, we won't have anybody joining the industry. And also I'm really passionate about employing local people. I think we should be giving back so that then when we leave, they've still got jobs and opportunities on other projects. It's going to be trans transformative for the north, that's the, the goal, to reduce the carbon footprint of the rail, to produce faster, greener, more regular trains. It's a once in a generation project, I think it's the biggest contract ever let by Network Rail in connecting people with clean, clean, cleaner, greener, faster trains and ultimately I think we've tripled the number of seats available on the route. So where we are now is a five storey, 100 block office complex and welfare and we've gone five storeys because we can't go out, so all that sort of detail has to be thought about years in advance. Some of the numbers on this project are staggering. There's 16 kilometres of fencing. I think we're going to use upwards of 200,000 litres of milk, things like that, just to support the workforce and the office staff and make sure everyone's got a good brew and everyone's looked after. So That's in a week as well, isn't it? Well, there's plenty of tea drinkers around here. <laughs> the most outstanding award goes to the TRU West Alliance. So to be recognised externally by someone like CCS is fantastic and sometimes we don't get the time to reflect on what we're trying to achieve. Um, so to, to have this kind of makes you feel good and, and gives you more drive to, to keep going and get that legacy that we are all striving for for, for the railway and the, the people of the North.